Hello once again everyone. Uh, so upon talking to a couple of the followers of the channel in the last few days um, specifically dealing with you know the connection problems with the seven segment displays which is the reason why I made the previous video um, I noticed that I never made a video of how to wipe out your Arduino in case you needed to reflash the SimVim software on it or the the firmware um, or just in case you wanted to let's say downgrade to an older version because there's been cases where uh, even for me where I noticed where I, I installed a different version a later one and then something didn't work anymore so I wanted to go back to the previous one so what I'm gonna do here in this video is show you how to do that so as always first things first let me get my mug out of the picture here and then we'll continue with the tutorial alright so first we're gonna go into our simulator here and I'm gonna show you right now I have uh, version 0.9.67a uh, that is the one I have right now and for some reason uh, my my Simvim cockpit detects two serial devices because there's something on COM1 which I don't know what it is but the one that I am using is actually on COM4 but we'll ignore that for now the, the bottom line is that you know my Arduino is connected and I can I can move all my switches and everything as you can see right there on the overhead panel everything is working fine so now if you go to the SimVim cockpit firmware upload you'll see that it says that the master firmware is okay because it does have the latest version installed um, now if if there was a lower version it would tell you that you know there was an update lo available um, but anyways for just for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, go flash our firmware first uh, basically we're gonna erase our Arduino and then we're gonna come back to to do the the other version so let's go back to my other monitor for this so first thing you need to do if you have it you probably already have it if you um, you know you played around with Arduino at all you need to go to the Arduino Arduino website you need to go to downloads and you're gonna download this ID no Arduino IDE um, 1.8.13 which is the latest version and you're gonna download I just usually download the um, this one right here this is an installer if you wanted a zip file you can do the second one and if you wanted the Windows Store app for Windows 8.1 or 10 you can do this one but I usually just get the regular Windows installer so uh, contribute if you want to uh, right now I'm just gonna download it and basically you just put it wherever you want I usually put it in my downloads folder okay once it's done you're gonna go ahead and open it let's go ahead and get rid of this right here so you're gonna go ahead and accept the license agreement because we don't have a choice if we want to use any piece of software we have to accept it and I let it do everything install the USB driver um, create the start menu shortcut and the desktop shortcut and associate the INO files with Arduino so just go ahead and click next install wherever you want to I usually just leave it at the default it looks like it got stuck for a little while on folder number 49 and then it just continues from there completed okay so now that we have it installed you just go ahead and go to your start menu and or your desktop shortcut and you can open up the, the Arduino software here the IDE so the first thing you should do if you haven't done so before is you need to go to the tools menu and you need to make sure that the Arduino board actually before I do that let me show you one more thing so usually I you can go to this PC or the control panel and I usually go to the device manager and then you go to the ports 
so right here as you can see you know there's something on COM1 like I said it's just installed open and I have my Arduino Mega on COM3 um, so actually earlier I said it was COM4 but that's the one for the test panel so you need to make sure that whatever COM port is showing up right here in your ports you need to make sure that that is selected over here alright so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure your board is the right one so you go to Arduino AVR boards and you select the Mega or Mega 2560 right here usually it recognizes the right board and it does it automatically for you but if it doesn't under processor um, you obviously have to make sure that it's a Mega 2560 not the 1280 and then under port this is where you select the one that your Arduino is on so you select COM3 so once it once you do that over here at the bottom you'll see that it says Arduino Mega or Mega 2560 on COM3 so it's all good now the way I've always done this is I always go to the examples and I I go all the way down to the bottom I hate it when it does that over here under Arduino Mega examples for Arduino Mega or Mega 2560 before I remember saying that it said for Arduino Uno but I never had any problem doing it anyways so you go to the EEPROM and you go to EEPROM clear and you open that sketch up now once the sketch is open all you need to do is hit this little button with a right arrow on it which is the upload as you can see right there on the right it says upload and you just hit it it takes about three seconds to do it oops Oh, you know what? I might, I might have a problem because uh, X Plane is still open. So maybe that's why I didn't want to communicate because X Plane has control of it. So, all right, now I I go ahead. I closed X Plane, so I'll give it a shot again. There we go. Now it worked. So make sure that you have X Plane closed before you try to do this. So it's done now the only thing down here you get a description you know of of what was done and how many bytes it took and everything and if you just want to go through the verification you can click this little check mark and it'll verify that what was loaded into memory is the same thing that's loaded up here in the sketch so that's it we're done so I'm gonna go ahead and load up explain and then I'll come back to you once it's loaded up okay so we're back here in the simulator now so we're gonna go ahead and open up our our simbin cockpit status window and as you can see there's no connection to anything right now because there is no firmware on the Arduino so if we go over to the to the firmware upload page you can see that it's giving us the, the option to do the master board now where before it wasn't because it already had it on it so now it says make sure the board you want to upload the firmware is not connected to the USB and click the button below to select the firmware type so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my Arduino and then I'll come back and click on the master board okay so now I disconnected it so I click on master board and now it says plug in the controller board to the USB and click the detect port so now I gotta go ahead and go connect it again okay my Arduino is connected again to the USB so I'll go ahead and detect port and as you can see it detects the port COM3 that is connected to and it knows that it's a Mega 2560 um, if you were using the Ethernet uh, shield it, you would probably have a green check mark in here I've never done that so it doesn't show that for me and it says the firmware on board is not available because there's nothing on it so all you need to do is click on the upload button you get this uh, Windows uh, shell window for about five seconds and it'll do it once it finishes it should automatically close and the status window should open showing that it's connected and for you like right now it's showing 0967A as the version and it's showing how many inputs and outputs I have assigned in my data file which for me is 222 inputs and 14 outputs 
so most of those outputs are LEDs and one seven segment display but that's it you know so now if we go back to uh, let me go back to our overhead view here so you could see that everything is working I can just uh, flick all my switches engine start so everything seems to be working good right all right so that's all you have to do now if you wanted to for some reason downgrade to a to a previous version you know you make sure that you save them because uh, I've seen a lot of people that sh that say that you know they had a problem and what I usually do is in my downloads folder I have a folder called um, what is it called simvim I call this Simvim releases and in here I have a bunch of old versions because sometimes um, they remove the older versions from the website and then you know you want to try to go see if something still works like it did before but you can't find it anymore so I always keep a whole bunch of older ones just in case I need to do that and I also make a backup every so often like right now before I started recording this video I made a backup of uh, all my configuration files and everything that I had in the previous version uh, which is this one that I'm running right now alright so that's pretty much all there is to um, flashing and changing the firmware on your Arduino so if you guys um, have any other question besides this I think I pretty much covered it all but let me know in the comments down below and if not then I hope this video helps answer any questions regarding that subject alright well thank you guys very much for watching See you on the next one.